we're going to be making a clay aquarium. The first thing you're going to want to do is remove anything from your wrist or your hands so that they do not get dirty. Just put them off to the side. Now you are going to grab a slip of paper to create your name tag. Write your name and your day of the week. Put your name tag off to the side and then you will be given your slab of clay. You are going to use two thirds of it for your piece. You're gonna first start by cutting out with your needle tool, careful, it's sharp. Don't poke yourself, don't poke anyone else, don't scratch the mat. You're just gonna use that to cut out an organic shape. This is what we are going to be attaching all everything to. Put the extra pieces off to the side. We will use those later. You may pick any of the texture tools at your table for the background. You may only use one though, even if there are tons of different ones to choose from. This will be the texture for your water. I'm just gonna roll it across that whole slab of clay. So you can see those lines for the waves within the ocean. You can see them on that side. Now I'll show you what the other textures look like. You may have them at your table, you may not. This one could be bubbles. Um, this other one could also be used as waves as well. You're only allowed to pick one. Then what you are going to do is you're going to use one finger and touch the water. Just one time and you're going to smooth the edges with your finger. It's so it doesn't give you any sharp edges once it's gone through the kiln going to add a little more texture. Now I'm going to set that off to the side. I am ready to create my fish. I can start with an egg shape or I can use my already flat piece and just cut out an oval. I'm actually going to add a little tail piece just because I have the space. If not, I can attach that tail later and I'm going to show you how to attach pieces. Um, oh, that'll be great for a fin. Perfect. Um, I'm going to smooth my edge again just so I don't have anything sharp. I'm using my palm to flatten it out. It doesn't need to be too thick. Now I'm ready to attach my fin. I'm going to score or scratch each piece I'm attaching. So since I'm attaching it to the top, I'm going to scratch or score the top. I'm going to use the little paintbrush to tap the slip, which is like the glue. And then I'm going to wiggle those pieces together. I'm going to take my finger and smooth it out. Uh, bend that so it stays. I want it curved a little bit. Good. I'm going to check the back. Oop, yep, smooth that out so it stays connected. Now I'm going to use my wooden pencil tool to add some details. Um, I can use the end to press in an eyeball. Don't go all the way through, you'll get a hole. I'm gonna use the pointed side to add some gills. I can add a fin just by drawing it on there. Oh, wait, gotta add a mouth first. I'm gonna press and actually tear the mouth and kind of open it up a little. Oop, get away those boogers. And then I'm gonna do my fin. I'm gonna add some details in the tail. Now that seems pretty good. So I'm going to set that off to the side to use for later. Now it's time for the starfish. We're gonna start by rolling a coil. You're gonna take some of the clay. I just clump it together in my hands. Um, smooth it together, kind of round it up. And then I place it on my placemat. I'm gonna use the palm to roll up and down to create my coil. I like to spread my fingers as I do this. Um, so that it stretches that coil longer and um, gets an even coil. I like to have it as thick as a pencil. And I'm gonna cut it into five spaces. Extra can go off to the side because a star has five points. I like to make those edges into a point, so I just smush it with my finger. But these were a little long, so I'm gonna slice them off. 
Um, I flatten the end, and then I'm going to score it. Remember, that's your scratching. I'm going to add my slip, which is like my glue. Score both pieces. Careful that you don't smooth out the um, score marks, and then I wiggle it in place. Scratch again. Scratch my next piece. Score, score, score. Slip, slip, slip. Wiggle in place. Remember, scoring is a good thing to do. It will keep it attached together. Think of it like a zipper. It holds it in place. Um, or think in sports, you like to score. So scratch, slip, and wiggle. Score, slip, and wiggle. All five pieces. Good, smooth out both sides. Perfect. Now it's time for the coil. You're gonna start by rolling it into a cylinder or a coil again. I like to keep this one a little thick, thick like my finger, not as small as a pencil. I tap the bottom and then I just take the wooden pencil tool with the pointy part and um, get a hole. And I have it go all the way towards the bottom but not out the end. This is like a tube coral. And I'm gonna do it again. Animals can live inside if they are. Now it's time for a sea urchin. You can roll um, an, uh, a ball of clay. You can do it in different sizes. You can do a bigger one. You can do some smaller ones. I like to make a few just because I like them all over. Um, I'm gonna use the ends to press a hole into the center. I um, pull it so it comes out a little bit more. And then I'm gonna use the pointed side to do a row of dots from the top to the bottom. I leave a little bit of space in between each row, um, but each row, creates a line going all the way from the top to the bottom. They're not just sporadically throughout it. Continue on my last one. Great, now those can go to the side. Now it's time for a conch shell. This one's super easy. All you have to do is take some extra clay, roll a coil, and you're going to twist it like a spring. One end should be a little longer and come out. If you get any cracks, all you need to do, let's see those cracks right there. Ooh. All you need to do is add a touch of water and smooth them out. Don't smooth out too much, otherwise you're gonna blend it in together. We're gonna do stuff with that later. Now it's time for some shells. Tons of shells are found in the ocean. You're gonna do really small clay balls and then you smush it with your finger. Once you smush it, all you have to do is add the details. Use your wooden pencil, either the little side up, that's kind of really small. Gonna use the back. That, this one reminds me more of a sand dollar, but that's okay, I'll show you um, another one too. And then I draw some lines radiating out. Cool, put it off to the side. Now I'm gonna make another one. This one I'm gonna make more like a scallop. So I'm gonna push it down with my finger, smooth out those creases. And this time I'm just chomping out some. Yeah. That gives it that sort of shell shape, almost like a triangle-ish looking thing. And then I lightly just draw some lines. Don't cut. Now I'm gonna just do a few more. Now it's time for seaweed. It's super easy. You literally just make coils. One coil, two coil, tons and tons of seaweed pieces. Don't make them too thin though. Now that I have all my pieces ready, I'm ready to add them to the slab of clay. So I can sort of place them just right on top to get an idea of where they want to go. I'm going to open his mouth, maybe my starfish over here. Um, before I attach, I am just going to add some details, give it a little texture if I need it because it's kind of boring. Um, I'm going to use the popsicle stick to give it scales on my fish. Perfect. My starfish, just a few details there. Lines down this way. Now I'm ready for that needle tool again. Remember, be careful. Score, score, score all the limbs too, and then score the space you want it to go. 
up, I added too much slip, so I'm gonna score right on top again so I can see those lines, and I wiggle it in place. Just kind of adding a little bit more so that those will stay down. Great. Um, now I'm ready for my fish, kind of get an idea. Scratch, 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 score, 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 every single time. Just get a rough estimate of where it is. Tap your slip on and wiggle. Be very careful that you don't get rid of all those details you added. So I'm just gonna place those kind of on top, get an idea of where I want them. I don't you need to use every single piece. You want most things kind of flat on there, but some can um, kind of come off of it. Scratch and wiggle. I'm gonna let these overlap, and I'm not actually gonna attach them onto the fish. There's my conch. Add some sea urchins. Add some shells. Shells can be floating in the water too because um, animals live inside of there and they can move. Up, oh, I need some more seaweed. I'm just gonna put that behind. Oops, sorry. More seaweed, oh, I can kind of just remove them, fix it up. Now reattach it on top, there we go. Another shell. Use the edges, oh, there we go. I made some bubbles, and there. Oh, one more piece. Ta-da! There I have it finished. Now you just need your name tag on the back and you are done. Here are some examples of some that have already been finished and fired. Here are some artist examples. These ones have already been glazed. You could do other creatures as well. You just have to figure out how to create them using your clay.